ready. I think I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm not ready. All right. We're going to do the top 10 heroes for the month of October. And this is going to be entirely different this month because we're going to focus more on plug and play. Yes, plug and play. Well, not completely, but kind of. Lego style. Lego style. <laughs> So we're with Warrior, we're at Warrior's Pad, Warrior Studio, getting all set up. So this is gonna be fun. First time I've ever done this top 10 uh, with somebody else. And so we're gonna get right into the list. And who is the best hero in the game, in your opinion, right now? Thrawn. Thrawn, okay. So nothing changes, right? We're definitely sticking with Thrawn forever on this list. And why Thrawn? Because you can put him into absolutely any team and he's gonna make that team better. He brings in one of the buff best, if not the best debuffs in the game with Fracture. Fracture. Which does not put him out of the game. He can still continue to counter, yep. which turns into an ability block. Um, and, which could turn into a stun. Yeah, which could turn into a stun. And the guy is blue, man. You've got, <laughs> blue man group, right? You've got to vote for the blue man. Right. Well, and, you know, and a lot of people don't know this, but if you, if you tag somebody with the basic on Thrawn while they have ability block, it stuns. Yep. And uh, a lot of people are, I mean, this is like the, also the first character I think that came into the game that started introducing the wall of text. <laughs> where you're like, I gotta read, <laughs> you gotta for five read this. And so, you know, this is where, because uh, the only bad thing I can say, plus he's got a capital ship. Turn meter swap is yeah. massive it's control. Great. Great. Massive control. And regeneration of, of a character is huge because it's a protection. And that protection in arena, mm -hmm. especially arena, is a much tougher shell than health. Um, and so, if you can regenerate that, that's pretty insane. My only complaint with Thrawn is his leadership ability on offense. I love his leadership on, ability. Oh no, on defense. Oh, so on, on defense. defense. Uh, yeah, because on everybody's defense, like, they, plans, plans, the, the, plans, plans, the, plans, plans. AR, the AI is terrible. Yes, offense, great. Defense, not as good. Okay, Yeah. not yeah. good. All right, number two on the list. Change the game forever. Oh my gosh. Second character I bought this year. For plug sure. and plug and play, right? We're kind of yeah. going plug and play on this list, yeah. and we're gonna we're gonna just so you the trio is gonna count. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh yeah. But Nest, um, what's what's awesome about Nest? Basic attack gets rid of defensive buzz, gets rid of taunt, destroys trooper. You got turn meter removal faster than Thrawn. Thrawn is probably top five fastest. Top, I mean, playable characters. Yeah. Nest is the fastest. Thrawn is the second fastest. I mean, they're For huge. actual characters you're going to take into yeah. arena today. And, yeah. And the cool thing with her is, is anything in arena that gives you control is a character you should be playing with, mm -hmm. and she gives that control to you, not only with the turn meter reduction, but the days, the ability to, on her basic, just wipe away the, the taunting from a tank, uh, the ability to target anyone. And in this meta right mm -hmm. now, with Scion constantly putting paint on the individuals, I mean, she'll maintain paint on her head, but it doesn't change the fact she can still ignore Scion. And a lot of people are going single tank, including myself. And so because of that, their nests allow them to really target down right. my team quickly. Well, and they're, the reason why nests changed the game forever is because you know, the protection, stacking protection, right? Yep. Which is based off of health. Yes. Go figure. Uh, might have to make a video about that, but almost all of these stacking protection mechanics are based off health. So you want to mod your nest with health, mm -hmm. not protection. Um, there are entire squads that can't beat nest. Yes. And so uh, nest, 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 uh, but she's not unbeatable. It's just you have to know how to beat her. Yep. Okay, so we're going to talk about the trio, of course, and... Uh, of the three in the trio, I'm going to say Nihilus is the most important. I actually, when I was thinking about this list, I probably was going to put Nihilus on the top of the list above Thrawn. Yeah. Because Nihilus can be plugged in. I mean, the kid is almost broken in every single way. I mean, Love where it. else do you get a hero that ends up with 600,000 health by the end of the match? Yep. Has an ability block that can't be dispelled. You know, you can't be cleansed. You know what I mean? Yep. I mean, this drain force and then a one-shot kill... You can't get better than that. Oh, there's nothing better than you a one-shot kill. You can't get better than a one-shot kill, and the one-shot kill happens realistically in three turns for most yep. battles. Yep. So, so in three turns, it's 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 a, he's a bomb. He's going to go off, and sometimes in a battle he'll go off twice. So that's devastating. You and, can put this character in so many other teams. It works on a Jedi team. Yep, and his cooldown increases again. Control. 
It control. gives you control. And when you have control, you win. And that's what Arena is all about. They have created these amazing control pieces. Right, and so when we talk about the rest of the trio, the synergies with the three make it, there's no question, the whole game's about the trio right now. Yeah. Without a doubt. And so Science, the tank, uh, reviving, intermittent taunting, so you can't even focus on him. Especially if you've got two tanks, you're going to have to split your attention between the two tanks. Yeah, he's got high health steel. He does Mass high damage. Spell. Once he gets his uh, <laughs> hatred up, he, oh my mine, mine hits for over 50k. Bypasses foresight. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, can't, that can go right through foresight. So yeah. the Jedi meta, you know, that's tried to come up with Bastlin. Mass stuff, cleanse. This suck matter. away all the positive side effects on JTR or. Man, AoE dispel is, is the yeah. stuff. It's yeah. the stuff, man. You want that. Yeah. And then, you know, Treya was just kind of the last piece. And I. I don't. This may this may sound weird, sound weird, but she's actually the weakest of the three, in my opinion, individually. I thought you were gonna say she's hot. You were like, yeah. this may sound weird, but it's it's the she's hot. She's pretty hot. It's <laughs> it's the no head thing for sure. <laughs> you know, she brings. It was another... Siren cut off her head too. It's That's like, true. Anyways. She she brings to the table another unique debuff, Isolate, and that's a control yeah, piece. Yeah, it's, it's like doubling down on Fracture. It is. It absolutely is. And when you've got that and Thrawn on the same team, you totally and utterly control the other team. Yeah. And if you have Nest, which I do, I use all three of those control pieces, right. forget it. I win every time, guaranteed. Well, and her unique ability, which is not a leadership ability, just right. to have, at the beginning of their turn, self-cleanse. Now... That still makes effects like stagger and daze still kind of useful, but Potential. it makes it makes stun and ability block useless. Yes, yeah, stagger if you can hit them in time, yeah, or expose if you can hit them in time, you can activate those abilities. But daze while they have it is useful. True, until their next turn and they cleanse yeah. it. So. it. It's it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. But the only good thing about it being a unique is that if you kill her, it goes away. It's true, and she can be put on a team where the Triumvirate are together, but not actually her as the leader, right. which is why Emperor Palpatine lead was so amazing, because she can ride in the back seat and she's all right, right. with that. And then you got the triple hit with the Saber Storm. I've seen her one shot anything. Yeah. At, you, ti at times, because her leadership ability, it's actually really confusing if you really read it. Uh, it's the stacking offense. Yeah, the stacking offense. But yeah, if, if they have an offensive buff and she's got full health, it's going to hit three times, you know, maybe 45,000 each, you know, times up three. Up two. Yeah. yeah I, she could hit up to about 150K. Yeah. Normally she hits for around 20K twice for me. Yeah. So I get around 40K on the yeah. saber throw, but that's still But you want to target the guy with the positive status effect, you know. And, and we didn't even talk about Nihilus's basic clearing. <laughs> Positive stats. Hey, Nihilus is just... Dispel it, on basic, man. Yeah, okay. So the rest of the list, uh, the next five, are plug-and-play characters that are good, but these are more a little bit more subjective. Yep. I think I think these first five that we've mentioned are kind of no-brainers. Yeah. Trio, Nest, Thrawn. And yeah, a lot of people play Sith Trooper, but that is not a good plug-and-play character. Top five is actually my arena team. <laughs> well, I don't play Nest. I play Sith Trooper, but yeah, it's it, it's that's great team. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's go to the rest of the list is kind of in no particular order, but these are characters that are important now, and they're also good plug and play. Let's talk about Grandmaster Yoda. Awesome. Yeah. I like Grandmaster Yoda because he's genuinely plug and play. You do not, absolutely do not have to use him with Jedi. Um, he collects and then spreads to everybody yep. buffs, and he always gives them automatically foresight. I mean, think about the Triumvirate, how hard and how durable they are to mm -hmm. be, you know? And then give them foresight and give them, you know, armor penetration or defense penetration or other things like that that you're collecting. Mm -hmm. It turns a really strong team into a phenomenal team. And he's hard to hit and he's bouncing around and he's super, uh, he hits hard. He'll hit for, you know, 40 to 80K. Um, his special can stun if they're under 100% health. Mm -hmm. um, it's a complicated kit. It, it is, but the, the game surprisingly plays it. Okay. I mean, I wish sometimes it would do things proper, like, you know, Master Stroke and then Battle Meditation, and sometimes it yeah, doesn't. Yeah, you want to you go Master Stroke into Battle Meditation, yeah. into Unstoppable Force, then right. probably a Basic, then back to Master Stroke. But Potency Down on Basic, mm -hmm. while the Triumvirate does cleanse that, mm -hmm. um, it's it's outside of the Triumvirate. It's a very useful ability now. Maybe Jedi will have their day. Jedi Revan. Yeah. Used the, that, that post had Jedi had the word Jedi, so maybe I that'll can, be a thing. I can guarantee if Jedi Revan ch changes the meta, 
Yoda will be on that team unequivocally. Okay, let's talk about another Jedi. Uh, now, largely, General Kenobi has always been the best tank of the game. He's been out what eighteen, more than eighteen, almost two years now, Thanks. and two years. Wow, two years ago. <laughs> um, but you know, mechanics like isolate kind of it really shuts down General Kenobi's kit. Mm -hmm. And so, but I, I just want to give like kind of a shout out to General Kenobi because plug and play best tank in the game mm -hmm. and has the Jedi tag, which could be more important going forward. So when you're in a guild, you're probably going to be in a guild hopefully good enough that's now doing the heroic AAT. And so this is a guy you're probably going to get hands down best character in the game that does not require a Zeta. Oh, so, with, without a doubt. No Zeta. No uh, Zeta. Yeah. He has an AoE cleanse. He's His got power a, is misleading. It says 18,000, yeah. but it should be like 24,000. It really is. It's He's just there's amazing. no Zetas. The lead the charge is amazing for an What do they give him attack. a Zeta? Uh, they at some point I think they will. Yeah. But he's so powerful, uh, and he's plug and play, and he ebbs and flows. Right. He's really popular for a right. little bit, and then kind of goes away, and he comes popular again. Um, he'll be popular again, especially with. If Red you're a good guild, you're gonna get him at seven stars. Yes. Yeah. So, and since we're talking about raid characters, we mm -hmm. have to talk about raid Han or OG Han. Mm -hmm. um, Glass cannon, squishy, but he's really controlled. Turn meter reduction, stun. Mm -hmm. Han shoots first. Uh, Greedo shoots first. There you go, Cubs. Uh, but it, this is, you know, and what's nice about him is Chewie, who's not on the list. I just want to play with Chewie's not on the list. No. Nope. But, but Chewie might be on the list. Let's say a year from now we get Jedi, Return of the Jedi Luke. Mm -hmm. yeah, that probably could be the whole thing. I mean, I, we don't know what, I think there's something bigger in, in coming for Chewie. Yeah. Even though, if you're going to play, let's see, let me ask you this question. If you're going to play Raid Han, do you always put you on the team? No. Okay. I mean, if I was going to play a, a Rebels team, yes, in this moment I probably would, because it makes sense. There's so much synergy between the two of them. But Raid Han is one of those characters. It's plug and play control. Right. You're a free to play guy. You haven't gotten General Kenobi yet. All you've gotten is Han Solo. You don't even, you know, have a whole lot of Zetas. You maybe have. Two Zetas in, to your name, right? But you need control because everyone has better mods than you. Han Solo is for you. This is the guy that gives you the control you're right. looking for to start out in a way that helps. Now we did not talk about this, but when we were putting this list together, we both said, "I asked you, do you put you in the list?" You said no, and I was like, "Yeah, I wasn't going to put him on the list." And so we didn't talk about it. Mm -hmm. Why not? I mean, he's good, but why isn't he a top ten character? Because I think we both have the same opinion and the same mm -hmm. conclusion, and we haven't talked about it, so we might yeah. as well talk about it. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's just like he's just he's good, but eh. You know, he's he's a solid legendary character. If yeah. you're gonna if you're gonna get a character that's legendary status, he's gotta be great. And he's great, but is he great enough to completely redefine the meta? No. No. I mean, is he Thrawn? Is he someone that you really need on your team for the control piece? Not really. Um, does he work phenomenally well in a rebel squad to just pulverize through? Pulverize. Ah! Uh, <laughs> to pulverize through. His kit's through. good. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with this kit. Offensively, he's amazing. Daze really messes well. him up. Yeah. Daze really messes him up, and you got characters like Nest that's just thrown out their well, days. Isolate him. Yeah, or isolate right, him. Right yeah. now, he's less relevant because of what is relevant. If the meta changes, his status is the not a top ten could very well change. If this guy came out a year ago, if he would have oh. been the top, he would have destroyed the game. Yeah. Uh, I think Trey kind of <laughs> changed everything for yeah for this. And, he, and actually, his kit's almost designed to counter Kreda, uh, Treya, because of the mm -hmm. way that they get back uh, health and protection. And Nihilus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not, well, mostly Nihilus. I mean, yeah. just uh, that, his yeah, basic starts doing be, like 50k and on he can't that. can't do cooldown increases and yeah. all that extra damage based on their health. I mean, he's chunking yeah. Nihilus away. It does not matter how much Nihilus gains, he's going to do a percent no matter So this, this guy is definitely honorable mention, maybe number 11 on our list. <laughs> and... Th he is one character away from being on the list always. Yeah. And we don't know, what, I don't know what that is, but he reminds me of like BB-8. Like remember when BB-8 came out, we was like, I don't really get this. Yeah. And then JTR made it make sense. I have a feeling there's something, maybe it's C-3PO. It's a good point. I don't know. I think we're gonna get a C-3PO. We hey, got he's been BB on the like cover, cover <laughs> art forever today. Okay, what are we missing? Okay, so let's go, let's talk, since we talked about Han, we gotta talk about Commander Luke, because that kind of tags in with Chewbacca. Mm -hmm. Standalone character, you know, this was our first legendary character in the game. Unlocked at seven stars. Hero's Journey. Hero's Journey. First Hero's Journey. Yeah, first seven star Hero's Journey character. 
Uh, so there's no such thing as a five star Luke. There's nope. no such thing as five star Jedi training Ray. They're only seven stars. Why is this guy good? Well, he's kind of an OG, kind of like Han Solo. He's got a, just a very phenomenal base kit, but any character that you can take at the beginning of the game and farm five characters to gear nine, unlock and take this one character, him, into Rancor and solo mm -hmm. it, take him into Hat and be a part of a team that solos the heroic AAT, that, that character has to be up there. I mean, he's able to either participate or solely solo two different raids uh, and that's amazing. Plus, he's plug and play. He's rege he regenerates his health and protection. Um, he can he can cleanse. Um, he can target whoever he wants when he has his buff up. Um, so he's kind of like nest in that sense. Mm -hmm. um, he's got a higher tenacity when that occurs as mm -hmm. well. So he's he's really resilient. He's just a a great and and the damage on him is amazing. And his leadership ability to be able to turn a team into a counter squad. Um, I was just talking about that. They great in arena right now because of all the AOEs. Mm -hmm. So they just counter all the time and do a lot of damage. So amazing. And then since we're talking about Commander Luke, we got to talk about Ray Jedi training. And frankly, the two things that both these characters are missing, which would make them 100 times better, is a Jedi tag. And then rightfully, they don't. But if they did, I think it would break the game. Mm, both of yeah. them, you know, so... Jedi Training Ray, can you? <laughs> the only problem I have with Jedi Training Ray, and why I'm reluctant to put her on this list, is she really has to be played with BB-8. You got to put them together. You want her with at least one other resistance. Yeah, person you can do with the other Ray. Or yeah, yeah you can she do calls scam. an assist, and yeah. if she can't call an assist, it, it really dolens that. Uh, and BB-8 will allow with his Zeta allow her to attack a second time. Right. So that's amazing, but the ability... Yeah, being able to attack BB-8 and then attack again, the two of them together, it's just amazing. Yeah. The healing immunity, though, the you know lockable healing immunity is, is absolutely amazing. It's kind of a proprietary buff or debuff. Foresight for days. Yep. The turn meter reduction. Not really being able to stun her. She self-cleanses she, sometimes. Yeah, and she it's regenerates health and protection. Yeah. Uh, We've seen that in uh, the, the tournaments. Yeah. One-on-one. And, and, you know, and, and the reason why... Shreya and Thrawn is so good is because they can deal with characters like Rey. Uh, Rey left unchecked. Plus, she's a vital. If you're for the heroic uh, Sith raid, yeah, Sith raid, gotta have. I mean, JTR is the raid's almost built for her. It's almost like you, your guild is really going to struggle unless you have every almost everybody with. If GTRs. you're trying to get into a good guild, the first question those They're, good guilds will yeah. ask is. What is your what is your resistance look like? Yeah, they want to see. GTR. Yeah. Everybody, that's pretty much. That was much the first every, team that everybody yeah. had. I know the Night Sisters and everything now, but that was the first team everybody cared about. If you didn't have that, they wouldn't they wouldn't want you in because they knew you wouldn't be able to contribute. Right. So pretty crazy. So we're gonna end the video. And we're gonna leave Thrawn up here behind us because Thrawn's still the best character in the game. He's kind of falling out of favor a little bit. Like sometimes he seems like the weak link a little bit on a trio team. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. But um, he's still the more useful. Chimera is amazing. Not as good as Tarkin's, but that's okay. It has its uh, it has its uses. In fact, it has the fastest ultimate, and um, it's really slow. He, he's able to put up defense really up on on Houndstooth and defense down on the opponent's tank. And so, if you're playing kind of mirror matches, he's sometimes the reason why you win a mirror match because huh. he's faster and. Uh, not faster ship wise, but I'm, faster to the ultimate. I like Tarkin though. And the regeneration, he has a healing where Tark where uh, Tarkin doesn't have a healing. Right, this is just the offense boost on Tarkin. It's yeah. amazing. It's oh, really it good. Is. Okay, well now it's time for the giveaway. I really hope you liked this video today because if you did, you're in luck. Every single person that likes this video will getting a free eight star moof milk. Just the milk. Nice. Yeah, blue milk. Everybody needs milk. milk. It's eight star rated. This is not a scam. <laughs> right? It yeah. was fun. Had a good time. This was good yeah. times. Yeah. Great top ten list. I think you, you know lots of thought went into it. So it's you good. know, Warriors are an incredible host, and Colorado is amazing. It's beautiful. I love it. I don't know if I like urban city life anymore. I'm like I'm already like going, man. I need to move back out to the country or something like that. It's just so beautiful and. Uh, there's nobody around you. I mean, all this land. Oh, it's great. It's beautiful out here. I do like being out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep on gaming.